Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Alongside Strandy42 on Instagram, please do give him a follow. We are here today to finally talk about the reveals for Halo Mega Constructs Fall 2022. It seems like it, well, I mean, it doesn't seem like it was already a week ago <laughs> that these set images were revealed, and I've just been incredibly busy, just been pumping out loads of other content, so... I finally thought it was time to sit down with Strandy and really talk through all of these sets in detail. Oh, I'm so excited. They are gorgeous. Uh, they are gorgeous. Let's go. Dare I say the best line I, ever? I would almost agree. I, God, these are some good sets. Some yeah. good throwbacks too. Yeah, every single set has named characters. The fact that they're Halo Universe sets means there's just so much going on here. Unlimited opportunities. Unlimited opportunities. As like, we will see. Unlimited opportunities. As you guys may already know, if you didn't, uh, if you're new to the community, welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. The Halo Universe is a brand new line of products by Mega Constructs. Mm. For the past two years, they've just been making Halo Infinite toys. Which has been good. It has been good, but we're starting to be like, okay, we want to revisit old games, like our favorite games. Halo Infinite is is my favorite game at the minute, but uh, I want to revisit my old my old toys. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. So twenty. 2022 is the start of the Halo Universe line, which will go alongside Halo Infinite. Mm -hmm. And the Halo Universe line this year has already treated us to the Arbiter's Quest, which isn't out yet, but looks amazing. We're getting close. We're getting really close. And Falcon Sweep alongside Halo Heroes Series 15 and Halo Universe Blind Bag Series yeah. 1. And yeah. the, the pickings have been fruitful so far. Mm -hmm. And they're only about <laughs> to get way better. Oh yeah. Yeah. This next wave. We were predicting, uh, I think we predicted some of this. I definitely predicted there was going to be a Jaeger, like that seemed to be a solid choice. The rest of it though, it's, very surprising. Yeah, very some surprising. serious surprise in this. Yeah. yeah. Also, we knew we were going to get a Phantom. Uh, we thought a Elephant was pretty likely because there was an old set called Sand Trap that leaked. No images, but there oh, was an yeah. old set called Sand Trap. Kind of give it away there. And then we did think there was probably going to be a Scorpion. It was about time. Yeah. Yeah, about time. We could also see Mega taking a lot of inspiration from the previous couple of years with these sets. We're going to run them down one by one, and we're going to start with the lowest to the highest price point. First, we've got Halo Heroes Series 16. There were yeah. a couple of obvious choices here. Yeah. Some surprises. Uh, the number one obvious one is uh, Haunted Helmet. Last year, Mega did an event called the MCX Fan Vote, where you could vote on a figure to be included in this line of Halo Heroes. And the winner was the Spartan Pilot for Haunted Helmet. Yeah, it was, yeah. was kind of loaded. I thought the Flood would win <laughs> for a second there. But no, the Haunted Helmet won. We've seen production images of this. Yeah. We've seen sketches, 3D renders, and a 3D printed model. So this seems seemed like the obvious choice and that's where we'll start. I am shocked that people aren't happy with the color choices. Really? I think it's awesome. I Fair. love that olive green, man. It's it's definitely, I mean, it's classic. Yeah. It's, it's a classic green Spartan mm -hmm. and that is that is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. um, the only surprise is I thought it was going to be blue because that's what the vote was, but other right. than that, it's really not right. that big of a deal. But the vote was just a, a, a like, stock photo. Stock photo yeah, from exactly. 343 Industries, yeah. So, and, and when you Google Haunted Helmet, it's usually that blue one that comes one. up, yeah. yeah. So no surprise, uh, so I guess some surprise, but the printed detailing on this man, the mm. blue lights, mm. those shotgun shells Dude. on his chest, and the Dude, way the, whole the green chest, light. The whole chest yeah. piece, yeah. brand new model. Yeah. Yeah. So Excited. So the only two new molds here are the Haunted Helmet with the Pilot and the Breacher Chest, mm -hmm. and they do look fantastic. That knife as well looks great. Obviously, it's not removable, but you know, yeah, that's cares. fine. And I do also appreciate the fact that it's a transparent visor. And it's removable. And it's removable. Yo! Yeah, and it's yeah. removable. But I think they definitely made that choice so they can release a full just pilot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, people are disappointed there's no flames. I never thought there would be, to be honest. I don't know how you would go about it. Doing that. No, it, no, too much. It wouldn't be easy. And some people also don't like the color of the concussion rifle, but I think it's great. There's been better paint jobs, yeah. but I mean, at least we are getting a paint job, right? Unlike the lock in season fifteen. We've also got—is that the Spartan insignia? On oh the yeah, Spartan? just the straight up yeah. uh, Spartan logo. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's nice though. So haunted helmet. Uh, you give me—I give you a big thumbs up. Oh yeah. I rate you a solid eight point five out of ten. Oh yeah. And then the other obvious choice was Hudson. Of course, from ODST, yeah. We, uh, fire team they, they had to finish it off. Yeah. yeah, we've had the other three. So Hudson, Lang, Graves, and Ramos, and this is Hudson. Last in the wave, yeah. And the level of detail on this looks yeah. really exceptional. It, they just kept going mm -hmm. from the first was really good, the second was also pretty good, but this last green one yeah. was beyond amazing, and now they're continuing with what they did. What do you think about those like speckles, those glitters? Oh, I love it. Yeah. It just adds a little bit more 
to it. Also, the, the printed uh, name on his chest is great. Um, nope. I was really surprised by the detail on Ramos recently. Right? It's amazing how quality, small of details quality. that they're getting on these figures. Quality. We got Langdon Graves in 9 and 11, and then 12, 13, 14 were Infinite yep. series. And 15 was back with Ramos, and then we got Hudson. <laughs> so we got a full set. I'm very excited about that. Interestingly, when I made a Halo Heroes prediction video and a Halo Universe blind bag prediction mm -hmm. video, in the blind bag video, I predicted a new mold skirmisher. And we ended up getting it in Heroes, Part which was, I, I take that is a successful prediction. Oh yeah, and it, it's good to get that back again, finally. It was always such a unique model yeah. back in the old yeah. style. And that face, man, that, that skin. It's so Ooh. detailed, it's so small. It's gross, but awesome. Oh, that's, that's jackals yeah. for you. And that's the that's also a great example of how Mega now with their new articulation figures, they put a pin prick in the eye exactly. to make it look like a pupil, but it works perfect. Oh yeah, it works it's perfect. really well done. And I think that's the first time we've seen the needle rifle in forever. Right, yeah, yeah. A I classic mean, skirmisher weapon. It's not yeah. an infinite. It's nice to get a good paint job for that because I don't know if we ever did get a really yeah, good paint yeah, job right, for Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we, we've, we've probably got a couple of paint jobs, but not that nice. We yeah. definitely never got a needle rifle in Heroes before. So exactly. it is great to see. Yeah. I don't know about these. See, the sparkles are on this as well. I don't know whether that's some kind of render. I bet it's going to be in. I bet they do have the metallic flake in there. Maybe, maybe. Because, I mean, they've been doing it with the green. See, metallic flakes sound so much better than sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> that one I will army build. That, that one I'll hunt like the Lights of St. Helios, really. I'll get a lot of that. Two more to go. We got Spartan Kelly 087. Makes it's a good sense. Figure. It makes sense. It does look now that Mega are going to produce all of Blue Team. I would definitely expect Fred to be in Halo yeah. Heroes Series 17. Definitely. Yeah, Mega already confirmed that they've got Series 17 finished in terms of design, and they're currently working on Series 18, which would come out in fall of 2023. Man, we're already thinking that far ahead. They Jeez. are, yeah, they are. So I guarantee that Fred will be in in uh, Halo Heroes next Series one. 17. But it is a bit weird how Kelly has her number, but the Linda that just came out in Series 15 doesn't have the number. So Which that was is a bit a of a bummer. strange choice. Very strange choice. It is what it is. That number almost just looks like 3D rendered on. It doesn't it, yeah, that it doesn't... That yeah, it just looks like look some text real. that's been slapped on there. The red lights that run around the body are great. I love the yellow stripes. I yeah. love the yellow stripes That's a unique... Legs. We've never seen that before, Those like red. that. Mm -hmm. uh, the yellow stripes on the uh, leg mm -hmm. there. That's a very unique spot for that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It is a really nice looking figure. I got nothing that much to say about it. It's cool yeah. that the old tactical shotgun's back. That is nice. So we've not had that old mold shotgun it's been a in long, a long time. long time. If you guys remember when Halo Mega Bloks first came out, the shotgun was oh. massive. It was massive. <laughs> like, it was the size of the because... figure. And there are leaks from inside Infinite's code of the original tactical shotgun being available. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. people can yet. use it. Yeah, so. Um, I'm hoping it returns. Spartan Kelly is number four. This is interestingly um, a very disproportionate wave. There are four UNSC and one Covenant. You are right. It's yeah. very waved in the UNSC favor at this point. Yeah. Also, is that yeah. skirmisher labeled as Covenant? Yeah, because it should be banished, really, right? It doesn't have any banished colors, so no. it's not the biggest of deals. No. But you are right. You would think that that would be a banished logo instead of just a, a Covenant logo. Right. And the last one for today is a figure that I think if I'd thought hard enough about it, I could have predicted this. It makes sense yeah. because this is the free skin in Halo Infinite for the HCS Championship. So it does make sense that they would have made a Mega Constructs figure. Yeah. I imagine this would have been an asset that 343 could have shared with Mega a long time I mean, ago. And they, the and they even said that they sent a ton of skins to Mega to choose from. And they said they wanted to, but they could only do so many. And this was obviously going to be a pretty first obviously, choice because yeah. it's the one that everybody can have. I love the red and blues, especially the red on his hand there. That's yeah, a what particularly a, interesting you know, that thing. That BR though. Yeah. I didn't realize that, that that's... The red and blue on the BR mm -hmm. is nice. The silver visor is great. Yep, um, always a good call. It's a solid, solid thing. I will really enjoy that one. The UNSC logo looks fantastic. Just an all-rounded good guy. Though. And and this Mark 7 figure, just all the way around, almost every figure they've done, every iteration is, has been top tier. It it's is. a Halo-looking Spartan, and it's, I'm it's very happy with It's Halo. <laughs> yes. Series 16, round of applause. I would rate this a solid 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, really a couple good. couple interesting choices, yeah. small details that are like, huh? But a really great new army builder. Yeah. We're gonna move up the price point now. Um, Heroes will probably just retail at five dollars. Yeah. Three of these sets we do have the official price for from Mega. We're gonna move on to the Ghost of Requiem, and that is a fifteen dollars set. Well, fifteen dollars for that bad. ghost, man. Not oh, bad. Oh, and oh. honestly, since they've been doing these small four troop one vehicle sets, this is probably one of the best. Yeah. 
builds for that, in right. my opinion. Mega have started definitely down that road of one small vehicle, four figures. They did the recon Long getaway, it, they did the hijack ghost. It's really top notch. Yeah. And this and uh, the Gungus Gambit this year. So yeah. clearly there's one of these four figure, one vehicle, $15 sets every six months. This is the fall of 2023's version. And I'm okay with it. I, I've really been liking what they're doing with that. Me too, me too. Um, obviously the only criticism I've seen of the set, and this is really the only criticism, is the Gek is not really Gek. It's yeah, just, it's just, it's just a Storm Elite. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no real differentiation there. The Didax hand uh, emblem is on the Jewel and Dharma Halo Hero, so it but should not, be on this yeah. one. Oh God, those Marines, <laughs> they, they look so good. They it is so it is nice to actually go back and visit some of the old mm -hmm. Halo 4, because Halo 4 never had too terribly many Marines, and to get them in the updated style with the removable helmets mm -hmm. is really nice. That's mm -hmm. just fun. I'm a huge, huge fan. Uh, the Grunt is whatever, but the two right. Marines are something else. I will say this, uh, Brickman kind of pointed this out in one of his videos. That's a Halo 5 rocket launcher in a Halo 4 set. Get out! <laughs> Don't know why, but Get out of town. that's all right. The set is awesome and the removable helmets. I am now campaigning for a Halo Marine Universe platoon pack uh, where it's Halo cool. Combat Evolved, what, two, three, four, yeah, like and Halo. infinite Marines. And have like three per, that would that would be pretty high. Pretty insane. So this ghost, man, let's <gasps> talk about this ghost. <laughs> Holy cow, it's that the best detail. Video. It might be it's the most accurate It's so good. Yeah. Oh. Detail. That That's honeycomb so print, good. man. Even wow. the printed detailing on the exhausts are great. And those electricity pieces nice touch. keeping it off the ground. It's, it's a good oh, touch. It's so good. It's so good. I'm excited to see what people also do with that. Because mm -hmm. those those little electric pieces are going to be so useful for so many things. Mm -hmm. Also, shout out to the play on words, Ghost on Requiem. Yeah, both, they're all ghosts because they probably all died on Requiem. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's a ghost. Depression. It's a ghost <laughs> of Requiem, yeah. A solid set. I would give this a solid eight out of 10. Maybe just, a, I mean, the Marines are just so insane. And the Ghost is so insane. A little disappointed that Gek doesn't have printed detailing, so maybe that drops it to a nine out of 10. And the, and the Grunt doesn't add too terribly much, but no. it, it's nice to get another Grunt. The Grunt is just a Grunt. Again, I just want to say this Ghost is quintessential Halo Ghost. It, the it, lightning it, is so crazy. The lightning, the, the print, the, the purple mm. accent, the, I mean, the pink little corner piece, yeah. that is just so cool. So we're gonna move up to the mm. ODST Hive Exterminators mm. now. And this is only a $20 set. Crazy. Crazy. That's cheaper than freaking heroes. And this, these are hero level quality figures. And it's, you can get- It's six figures, man. Six figures. Mm. Just a little more than $3 a figure. We have the final return of the Firing Spartan Laser, which has only appeared in one set, the Banished Ghost, with um, one of the old Halo Wars figures. I think it was in the Banshee too. That's what I mean, yeah. Ah, it's only okay, appeared okay. in the Banshee, that's what, yeah, that's yeah. Only appeared in the Banshee. It's just so crazy. We've got the, uh, we've got the foam, Tool, whatever you Bio call foam. it, biofoam. Ah, that's yeah. that's exciting. Great little addition. Take a look at the detail on the top of these drones. Dude, the drones, the they're drones so cool. So the love, colors are fantastic. So good. The needler and the plasma pistol. Yeah. They they never go wrong. With they're that. flawless. They come with the transparent stands as well, yep. which is always a must. The ODST flag is the same from the trailer, and let's talk about that trailer. Ah. <laughs> One of the best Halo trailers to ever One come One of the out. best video game trailers of all time. so good. Mm. And the fact that Mega is taking such a deep cut and pulling a named character from a trailer. I didn't even know who Tarkov was. Right? I zoomed in and I was like, Tarkov? What? And then Googled it. Crazy. What? We are ODST, man. We are ODST. The song in that is... Oh man. Big shout out to the ODST logos printed on each of their yep. chests. And yeah. UNSC and Tarkov and battle damage. And battle damage. And again, dude, Sheesh. these are hero Sheesh. level quality Sheesh. in a $20 set. Sheesh. Wow. We got a SOCOM, we got two suppressed SMGs, and one with a scope. It's got an extended uh Suppressor. It's mm -hmm. not the same suppressor that's been coming out. It's a longer suppressor than it's been. Yeah. So now we're actually getting that nice profile of a long SMG, not the sub nose right. Halo 5 look. Right. Ex yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm exactly. excited about that. And Mega confirmed on Instagram that there are no new molds for the ODSTs except an ODST backpack. Rucksack! Let's go! Three of them oh, come with three of the so ODSTs. Nice. And one has a tactical backpack as well. We have three sandbags. Yeah, we have a gorgeous flag. Again, 
The the colors are so crisp. Ten it's out of ten. Absolutely. Yeah, eleven out of ten. Hundred percent. Eleven out of ten. We'll probably be buying twenty dollars, dude. Oh. And if you look at the Marine Defense set, which had two Halo Three Marines and two drones, that was twenty dollars. Yeah. And this is twenty dollars <laughs> with six for two things. extra ODSTs yeah. that are significantly higher quality. Yeah. All right, then we're on to the Red Team Rescue. Yep. Wow. <laughs> it's just great. Uh, there's, it's nice that we're finally going to be able to be able to get all three of these Spartans. And then we also have Douglas. Douglas was the easiest to get oh, out yep. of the team because yep. he was just with the, uh, the little jackrabbit. And Mega pointed out an interesting thing. A lot of fans have been complaining that these figures don't have the numbers of their like their service numbers mm -hmm. on their chest. This is a Halo Wars 1 set. And which in Halo didn't. Wars 1, they didn't have the numbers, which is crazy and kind of makes us look, look, look like idiots. And Because I'll be totally honest, that was one of the first things I noticed. Yeah, that too. I was kind of disappointed, but then they pointed that out. I'm like, you know, that's fair. And it's a good way to distinguish the difference between the old and the new. Consider our thoughts retracted. Yes. Yeah. The genius behind the two-in-one build on this set. Genius. Great. It's great. It, genius. Probably one of the most mass-buildable warthogs that we've gotten so far. The amount of options you yeah, have. Yeah, and just a plain green warthog as well, and yeah. the flame warthog. This is going to sell. And well. no roll bars. This is a classic mm -hmm. warthog. And through and through. It's a warthog and a gauss hog. Yep. Mm. Again, dude, you could get up to four of these and have four different versions of right, it. Right, right. That, that's so nice. Flame warthog, flame gauss hog, warthog, gauss hog. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also have a Serena. Yes, it's the same mold yeah, as but, Cortana, but who cares? Yeah. Like, that's not an issue for me at all. And then even the paint job itself distinguishes it enough. Yes, you it know that's so. not Cortana. Yeah, yet. the base plates are normal. The figures are normal. They, they, they just, they look like McFarlane figures. Yeah, you know they're, what they're mean? just they're massive. massive. Again, I, I will Beautiful. die to my grave with the same this Mega Bloks has the best figures on the market. On the market, hundred uh, percent, dude. On the market. That Jerome looks great, and yes, they have the uh, really nice skull and crossbow and uh, emblems on. I'm excited to shoulders. see what's on Douglas's shoulder. Did we ever get any pictures of that? No. Is this Alice? Do you think I'm pretty sure that's Alice. I'm pretty sure that's Douglas because I'm pretty sure Alice had the crossbones. Mm. The Red Team Charge retails for thirty dollars, which Not I think bad. is a pretty, pretty dang bad. good thing. I think the uh, Warthog Rally was twenty five. It mm -hmm. might have been twenty five. So this might be a small markup, but it is probably an extra piece. Count for that gauss hog and that for that hog. hog and three figures really nice figures again uh, yeah and the print job on the hood it, that is just incredible yeah just yeah. really well done really well done so big shout out to that one i give that a solid 9.5 yeah, 10 out of 10. Yeah, just, just a 10, 10 because... 10. Just a 10 out of 10. All right, we got three sets left. Oh, we're building up. And we don't know the prices of these three sets. Yep, they are not confirmed error. yet. Next up, we have the Scorpion Clash. To be honest, I mean, I've been so hyped about all these sets. This is the one that does it the least for me. Really? And, and, and I'll explain why. I'm just not invested in buying any Scorpions. I don't own the Scorpion Sting yet. I like, do. Yeah. It's, it's nice. I bet it's great. I bet it's great. I have about five Scorpions in England, a few of the desert. And it's got the all the classic arcs. ones too, yeah, so yeah. understandable. Understandable. I really would like, I mean, I'm going to get this uh, for many reasons, but uh, it, it's just scorpions don't appeal to me as much. That's just my opinion. The, I'm sure this is the favorite for a lot of people. It has a lot to offer. A good looking marine with some new colors. Yep. We've got Spartan Stone. Then we've got an elite general and two hunters. It's, so it is great. They've done so many good things with this set. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Especially with the two hunters. We're finally getting a set with two of them again. This elite, the gold, uh, like the base yellow ones from the last hero set. Mm -hmm. That was that was such a good figure. Such and a now good. with it being in this gold, that is going to be really nice. Yeah, the elite warlord from Halo Heroes is one of my favorite heroes. So good. And uh, this is uh, also going to be really great. One of the biggest criticisms, and this is where Mega, I think, does stand apart from Lego quite significantly. They really, really do listen. Yeah. Like, they really are taking feedback all the time. One of the biggest criticisms I've seen of the last Halo Infinite waves is that the hunters only ever come one at a time. Mm. People don't want to buy two pelicans, so they literally never get the two hunters. Yeah. So it has been a real criticism. Mega immediately stepped up and said, fair enough, here's your two hunters. Yeah. And this is a gorgeous set. The turret is reused from some of the old fire teams, but it still looks great. Yeah. The Elite Warlord, great. And it has the classic energy sword, which is so funny nice. that it's made a return. The Spartan Stone is cool. 
Uh, Spartan Stone was released in Halo Heroes, but was not called Spartan Stone to avoid spoilers for the yeah. game because the game was delayed by a year. Also, we see the return of the tools. Yep, they look that's great. exciting. Yeah, Love Spartan that. Stone is clearly a different color scheme to the one that we actually get in Halo Heroes. And the Marine, yes, is a little bit different. The Marines are getting a bit repetitive, but you need to just keep on pushing yeah. out the Marines. And yeah. at least they're making them army, slightly different. Army building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tank itself, I'm actually... I, I like it. The only thing I'm a little interested in is the, the chassis seems higher. Oh yeah. Uh, especially compared to the, the the last tank that we got, it sat a lot lower. Okay. And so the shape, the general shape, I mean, it's a it's a scorpion yeah. through and through. It's a scorpion, but yeah. it's boxy. It is. Uh, but I'm okay with boxy. it. Yeah, it's a little boxy. Well, we'll come to the boxiest of all boxes. Yeah, yeah, it's coming yeah. up, isn't it? The Prince Detons are great. The yep. Scorpion logo. The UNSC. Uh, no more stickers. Voice. That's. No, uh, yeah, we, we haven't done stickers that. in forever. No, no, no. The turret looks really great. Um, I got yeah, mostly positives about that Scorpion. The alt build is not something I would personally do. Yeah. But same. it's still fun. I can see that Mega did try their best, and at least it has like the helicopter does have like a cockpit, which is dope. Yeah. Um, and it, it's 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 one. Whatever. That, yeah. that two in one feature is not something I would do, but I do respect it. It's nice to have. It's nice if to have. You want it. I will so. give the Scorpion a solid 8.5 out of 10. Right. The Pike Bond uh, Hunters the are figures, the best part. Yeah. The figures really are a high point yeah. for this. Yeah, those two hunters are, are exceptional. I've also seen some people complain that, and this is a crazy complaint, I can't believe I even heard this. People are saying, I don't like the fact that there's named characters in each set because I can't army build them. I'm like, dude, no, 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 no. We need okay. no, but but also like the, the red team, they're just normal Spartans. The Spartan stone is just a normal Spartan. Like you can army build those. Uh, I don't see that criticism really. I'm curious to see where these hunters line up in comparison to the wasp and the uh, pelican. They look hunter. fairly identical to yeah. the wasp, yeah. Okay, yeah, because that's what I'm curious to see the difference between those three mm -hmm. versions. My favorite hunter is still the revenant hunter from uh, yeah, Heroes. Yeah, that was yeah, really pretty good. Like I was able to pick up two of those. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we're gonna move on to the box man. All right, it is the, the banished. <laughs> yeah. It looks exactly like it does in game. Yeah. A box. The, the <laughs> Mega can only do what 343 has done, and uh, for the 343 design of the Banished Phantom is a box. And this is also a box. So Nailed it. Yeah, nailed the box. <laughs> nailed the box, guys. Good job. Um, yeah, it's it's um, it is a little plain. There's only a couple of printed details on there. Mm -hmm. um, really, I can only see one printed detail: the yellow stripe at the front. There's a couple dots on top, but nothing. It's uh, it is plain. To say that because of Wilds is coming in this wave, yeah, I think right. it's okay right. because I mean they're both two massive massive right. sets. In my eyes, this absolutely confirms the fact that. Mega did cancel and delay a lot of sets last year. I guarantee this Phantom was meant to come out fall of last year alongside Infinite, and it was gonna have Jager Adomni, but then when Infinite was delayed, they had, they had to push to this and Jager back by a year. Yeah. That's why we have this and the Elephant in one wave, yeah. because it's literally two years of products yeah. in one. You do wonder what was completely canceled. I bet there was a lot. There's also the chance that this Phantom was scaled down in scope and size to make room for the Elephant. Right, Maybe. That, I, there was literally a thought that I just had. I'm like, you know, th there's a decent chance that this was cut back just mm. a little bit. Maybe. It still looks great. Blackman yeah. 117s is always gonna be the top tier build. That's, that's the temptation for me is to pick up well, games. Brickman 117 built his with no budget. <laughs> I mean, this is meant to be a yeah, retail product. For it. Yeah, exactly. No, for sure. The translucent Eshram yeah, is awesome. It is pretty cool. It's way more than just a gummy yeah, figure. I it's got it's some call. dark detailings to it. And Eshram's hologram is such a prominent part of Halo oh, Infinite. all the time. It makes sense. It really makes sense. The Brute is pretty much the exact same as the Gungu's Gambit, which seems a little strange. I didn't notice that, but yeah, you are, you are right. the exact same. And it's solid. I mean, it's a Brute. Not it's a just a normal Brute, Captain, mm -hmm. yeah. The Spartan Griffin also looks great. Yeah. I imagine this could literally be what happened to Griffin when he went to to the dig site. And actually got captured. He got, yeah, he got uh, he got captured by Jaeger by orders of Esherem and then was taken to the tower. The return of the muzzle flares as well is something that we've Classic. needed to see for a while. Good stuff. To be honest with you, I think muzzle flares should be in every single set. The production of them must cost almost nothing. Yeah. Like, let's just put them in more sets. The, the fact that they're only in the most expensive set is a little silly to me, but still. And it is it is only in this set for in this, this set, wave, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that yeah. is interesting. It's a bit weird, yeah, a bit weird. We're still yet to see the blind bags. Mega has confirmed 
confirmed that this year's final set of blind bags will be Halo Infinite themed. They'll right. come out this fall. They're going to reveal them soon. Also, the return of these big stocky tubes that nice. hold the cool. Phantom up. All right, then the old build is really dope. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but it's really Right. Dope. That would be a really fun reason to get a second because it, that's the closest thing to a blister back that I think we're going to mm. get for a little while. Mm. So mm. we'll see what happens. Mm. Justice for blister black. Blister black? <laughs> Justice for blister back. Justice! Um, solid... 8.5 out of 10 for me. Yeah. The Jager Redomni is it's, amazing. That's, yeah. That's, the that's, Phantom is not it's, that great. It's the figures again. If I was yeah. totally honest, the Phantom is not that good, in my opinion. Yeah. It just doesn't look that good. Especially this flat piece here. It, it, you could have put more there. If if it would have been the signature series set, it could have been. Even just a big Banish logo on it, man. Like something. Mm -hmm. um, the Jager's dope. The other three figures are just fine. Uh, so I give this an 8. Yep. Um, hey, that's all. Yeah, I'm going to say 7.5. 7.7. 7.9. Alright, final set of today, obviously, uh, the, on the best set yep. that Mega throwback. probably has ever made. Uh, this is, oh my gosh. Such a throwback. This is the Elephant Sand Trap. I'm so nice. Kind of a weird name, considering Lord Hood is never right. in the desert on Sand Trap, um, but is what it is. This is phenomenal. I'm so excited. Phenomenal. Man, uh, this the, the original elephant was my first original big set. So it, it took me forever to build. So I'm super excited to come back and visit this while I'm older and an adult and actually be able to put this thing together. Yeah. It's, it's going to be such a nostalgia. Trip it's raw nostalgia. It's raw nostalgia. Yeah. It's one of the craziest builds. Mega uh, and a lot of the community, particularly like Jang Bricks, considers the original elephant to be the first signature. Oh, 100. Yeah. 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 It was before they had the idea of the signature yeah. set. So and definitely. When I made episode one of hot takes my main statement on there was that mega needs to start re-releasing old sets obviously they didn't listen and they didn't no, no, no. design they, this but it's just ironic that no it's just ironic that i was saying they need to re-release old sets and they literally re-released an old set this is just the elephant. It would have been really dope to include a, a, a Black Recon in this. Uh, the, the Black Recon is the only missed bags. opportunity yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the two Marines with removable helmets, gorgeous. My question is how closely to their colors are going to be to the other Halo 3 Marines. I'm hoping that they're really close so that they can You'd hope just very mix. Close. You'd yeah. hope very close. Gosh, that Halo 3 Master Chief. Um, Classic. Yeah, I mean, Halo 3 Master Chief is still something that people struggle to get hold of. It mm -hmm. was only available in Halo Heroes and then the Master Chief SDCC pack. Yeah. So great that that's being re-released. Lord Hood, man. <laughs> this is great. Honestly, it is kind of a weird set for him to be in, but... I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it's it. it's nice. It's good to... I mean, it's a whole new head model. Yeah. So that's nice. Johnson may now be one of the most reused characters, right? He's been in so many. Yeah, no, it's just another good version of him, and it's good to get him again. He looks fantastic. It's... it's Sergeant Johnson. He looks like You can't go wrong. Get tactical marines and a Cortana. This Cortana. They just added a Cortana yeah. as well. Like, it's honestly. probably one, it's one of the best paint jobs we've got for her outside of the mm -hmm. uh, Master Chief collection mm -hmm. that came out. It's pretty much the Master Chief collection. It is. It? Yeah, the fact that the elephant opens up, clearly the so exact good. same as the Pelicans. Yep. Same design. Yep. Clearly, if it, they broke, don't fix it. They use that same design. They got some nice turrets on there. The return of all the tools. Ah, so down. nice. All the tools. And it just, it opens it up. It makes it more playable, and that's just exciting. Yeah. Extra treads, just in oh, case. Yeah, extra treads, are they? Yeah, in case they snap? Mm hmm Yeah, extra treads is good. The oh, original nice. elephant treads snapped <laughs> very, very... Uh, Straight rubber. Unfortunately, good same stuff. with the old scorpions, yeah. But Hood, Johnson, Chief, Cortana, two Marines, yep. a brand new elephant with gorgeous detailing. Uh, you can zoom in and see that there's a really nice display oh, inside nice. showing the mongoose. Yep, that's yeah, that's gonna be fun. Probably showing the black recon on the mongoose from the original <sighs> set, man. Good stuff. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Cause that is the only thing that would have been cool. Mongoose. But I mean, that's totally extra. This set in itself Just now. Just get yourself a recon getaway, man. Exactly. Uh, yeah, the fusion <laughs> coil, the crane returns. Yep. It's literally a perfect set, yep. literally. 20 out of 10. Yep. 20 out of 10 perfect set. Yeah, Strandy. Um, that. So oh man, what a wave. What yep. a wave. Um, I, do you think we're going to get any more reviews past uh, blind bags? <sighs> I think that I, might be it. I think that's going to be it. I'm kind of surprised that they've waited as long as they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Um, and that's the only reason that makes me think there might be more because waiting to say these blind bags is just their own thing yeah. is kind of weird. So maybe I I doubt it, but no, I think this is probably it. Yeah. We might see like possibly some fire teams, but probably not. Yeah. Um, so we've got a gorgeous lineup of Halo heroes, really yeah. gorgeous. The Ghost of Requiem with just the most flawlessly painted mm. uh, vehicle ever. We've got the ODST Hive Exterminators. My, my personal favorite. Beautiful, beautiful. Personal favorite. Favorite this Best way. value by far. Yeah. The Red Team Rescue, we got the Scorpion, we've got the Elephant and the Banished Phantom. If I was to say my favorite set, I mean, it has to be the Elephant, but I do really appreciate the ODST yeah. Exterminators. The Red Team Rescue is also dope. I don't mind if the Scorpion is your favorite vehicle. It's not mine because I just don't really care for any more Scorpions, but good, good on you if uh, you're hyped for that. And the Banished Phantom is a little too boxy for me, but the Elephant just... Mm, just, just, just <laughs> chef's I love how we say boxy and then we say elephant, which is a box. But that, yeah, it's classic. Nostalgia. That's a nice looking box. It's a nice looking box. It's a nice looking box. So, Strandy, thank you very much for joining me today thank and you. reviewing the full 2022 lineup for Halo Mega. Super Constructs. excited. Really All right, excited. My wallet. So, thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with the domain and Strandy42 from Instagram. Please do make sure to follow him. I'll leave it down below. This is uh, a wave that I've. Uh, I'm the most excited for this yeah. ever. This is awesome. And you let me know in the comments down below what set you are most hyped for. Please make sure to like this video and yeah, give Strandy a follow if you did yes. enjoy this content. Yes, stay awesome. Yes, stay safe out there, folks. The Domain is signing off. <laughs>